I'm Bob Smith and this is the Leighton Stone Centre of Contemporary Arts which is which I've built uh, myself which is an art gallery um, and I suggest the idea is that you can build your own art gallery and have your own art world you don't need to uh, buy into the art world that people tell you exists out there you can have your own everybody has culture everybody should have their own art gallery <laughs> anyway so this is my art gallery and this is a sign that's painted for it by one of my sort of heroes really this is Joe Amrine and he painted this sign for the Leighton Stone Centre of Contemporary Art uh, I should really take it off the building because it's suffering uh, in the weather uh, but in a way this kind of um, weather beaten sign is uh, one of my main sort of influences really so uh, and Joe had a show in here and uh, it was a wonderful show. Besides running the gallery here in Brooklyn, I am an artist myself and I use a lot of text-based uh, work and, and, and different fonts and a much more tradition of sign painting and things like that. And uh, Bob, back when, and uh, I think 2001, invited me to do a show at, in Leightonstone, at Leightonstone Center for Contemporary Art, which happened to be a, uh, a shed in his backyard which is a great space. Uh, I think I was the first person to show there and uh, I brought a, a large piece that sort of wrapped around the inside of this shed. It took about a day to pull out all the rakes and all the debris in the shed uh, to, to start this, the, the piece. And I actually painted the sign that uh, this anagram out front uh, for Leighton Stone Center for Contemporary Art. It was a wonderful uh, experience. Uh, actually, I met uh, Matthew Higgs there for the first, for the first time um, at that show. So it did draw some interesting people and. Uh, very successful in my mind. Uh, we had some great, uh, great food, and uh, and uh, I think we had a little hot toddies or something. I can't remember what we had. But it was great. <laughs> what was funny about that was that uh, afterwards I sort of developed a friendship with Joe, and uh, and he told me that uh, well, we went out and I was shown at his g gallery, and. Uh, he set up a gallery, very much like uh, the Leighton Stone Centre of Contemporary Art, uh, but slightly grander, in his local neighbourhood. And uh, it's become an incredible success. This idea of kind of creating your own reality uh, is important. But, uh, yeah, but <laughs> the last show I did with him, I went introduced me to a collector of his work and this guy said uh, this, this guy said to me oh you're Bob Smith you did the first show in London in your institution of Joe Amrine and he also no idea what the lady said was contemporary art was he had no idea what it really was and uh, and I was saying, yeah, yeah, it was great to present him at the uh, Leighton Stone Centre of Contemporary It was uh, a very honest sort of attempt to show work in a, in a location you would never expect it, and I love that idea. Taking work, taking art out of the White Cube, and not the Gallery in London, but just the metaphorical sense of the White Cube, and, and bringing it uh, into a space that uh, you would never expect it. It was great. Why, why did you start? this space book. I started it because um, I started it because um, if you're any kind of creative person uh, you have to rely on other people to get your voice out there really and um, I suppose well, I went for a period where there was a little period where I thought, well, you know, there's not much going on in the world of Bob and Bert Smith. I ought to try and uh, do something to get my career back on the road. <laughs> and uh, my approach to that was to build a shed in my garden and uh, actually not show my own work, but show other people's work. And. Uh, and you can see it led to incredible riches and fame. And what did you make of Leighton Stone? <laughs> well, 
Well, Leytonstone's a suburb of London that just uh, is uh, what it is. It's the working class. It's people go home and get away from all of it, and, uh, th and you would at least expect to see uh, contemporary work there. And I don't know what the neighborhood thought of it, if they even participated in, in such a thing. But uh, Leytonstone, I think, is, uh, is, is a great place to uh, kick back, and Bob is so involved in the family and, 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 and uh, kids, and uh, great dad, and uh, it's a great place for that context. That's one reason I think he moved there. Uh, Leytonstone is uh, definitely growing in its cultural status. Uh, there seems to be lots of filmmakers and young people drinking coffee 